The club is heading out on tour to stores all across America. And we're not going shopping. Well, okay, maybe a little. But what we're really going to be doing is performing some of the original songs off our new album, MMC. And just between you and me, you don't want to miss it. Check it out. The MMC is everywhere. You've seen the music video of their new single, Real Talk. Hi, it's fun. What? Thousands came to Cleveland to see them perform songs from their new album, MMC. Great, sweet, awesome. Now the MMC is coming to your town. MMC Fitness. Target stores present the MMC on tour. It's your chance to see the MMC live and in person performing all their hot songs. So get ready. In the Atlanta area, see the MMC at the following Target stores on October 30th in Smyrna and on October 31st in Roswell. And listen for the MMC on Star 94, WSCR 94.1 FM. In the Seattle area, see the MMC at the following Target stores on November 6th in Tacoma and on November 7th in Puyallup. And listen for the MMC on KPLC 101.5 FM. All performances start at 2 p.m., so don't be late. And don't forget the autograph session immediately following each performance. Go anywhere to see them. Keep watching for more MMC updates. Okay, we've shown you all the great stuff coming up in the future. We've shown you the seven new club members, and we've shown you what's up with our new album. Now, I feel like I've forgotten something. Tell them about today's show. What? Today's show. Oh, yeah, here's a look at today's show. Today, it's Music Day on the MMC with Boy Crazy. That's what love can do. I don't want to break your heart in two. And find out what it takes to make it out of school for Olympic hopeful. Man, that was poor, y'all. This show's gonna knock you out. Whoa, today it's an all new MMC. Well, that's it for MMC This uh, for right now. We'll be back after today's show with more news and updates on the club, so don't go away. Now, here's today's episode of the Mickey Mouse Club. Catch you later. The following presentation has been closed captioned for the hearing impaired. JC, Brittany, Josh, Rona, PJ, Ilana, Ricky, Christina, Mark, Nita, Ryan, Matt, Nikki, Tony, Lindsay, Kate, Terry, Fred, you. Welcome to the Mickey Mouse Club. Today is music day and a hot group is in the house. Let's hear it for Boy Crazy. On today's What I Want to Be, we'll check out a high school for potential Olympic athletes. Imagine that, a high school just for athletes. Wouldn't it be great to study snowboarding or ice skating? I'm ready to enroll. But first, here's a show where an audience member, just like you guys, gets the surprise of her life. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for This Is Your Teenage Life. And here's the host of the Daria Show, Bert Barker. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you too kind. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Welcome to the show where we surprise a member of our studio audience and explore his or her teenage life with friends, family, and who knows whom else. All right, <laughs> let's meet our lucky teenager now. Anderson, come on down! Well, I think we surprised her. <laughs> come on, Ashley. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Ashley. Yes, Ashley, we've been digging, and we know everything about your past. 
you're 16 years old, you attend Greendale High, you're a licorice freak, and once at summer camp, you actually emptied an entire can of shaving cream in your counselor's bed. <laughs> How did you find out about that? Well, actually, your mother led us into your room where we found your diary. What? <laughs> yes, Ashley, sit back, relax, as we reunite you with someone you haven't seen since breakfast this morning. Do you recognize this voice? Like, hi, Ashley. Yeah, that's my sister, Tracy. That's right, sister Tracy, come on out. <laughs> come on, Tracy, hello. <laughs> Yes, Ashley, you and Tracy are very close. And you don't like to keep secrets between you. Yeah, that's true. Not according to your diary. <laughs> <laughs> yes, on June 17th, according to your diary, you were so mad at Tracy that you told her boyfriend, Eddie, who called on the phone, that Tracy had gone to Ecuador to help out your sick grandmother. <laughs> What? So that's why he didn't call for two weeks. You are getting me, Ashley. Oh, there's plenty of time to hug right after the show. <laughs> right now, let's hear from our next surprise guest. Hi, Ash. Hey, this is real cool. <laughs> is that my cousin Chuck? Cousin Chucky, come on out! <laughs> Hello, Chucky. Welcome. Have a seat there. <laughs> don't say anything, please. Yes, Ashley, you and Chucky go way back, don't you? Let's take a look at a cute little picture we have of Chucky and Ash. Oh. Isn't that cute? That was from a few years ago. This is a picture from last month. Oh, my gosh, look at prop. Hey, I look pretty good in that picture, huh? <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. I bet you can't, Ashley. Yes, it was a magic night, wasn't it, Ashley? You pleaded with Chucky, and he took you to your junior prom. Well, well, okay, well, she, she paid for my tuxedo, but I did buy her a real corsage. Yes, we know. Yes, according to your diary, you write that for a mere $10, Chucky pretended to be the out-of-town boyfriend that, Ashley, you told everyone you had been dating! <laughs> boyfriend. He was just well out of town. Well, sure he was. <laughs> Isn't that great, folks? But before we can go on exploring Ashley's teenage life, we need to bring out this next lady. Ashley, it's your mother, Mrs. Teresa Anderson. Come on, Ashley. <laughs> Mom. You know, when Ashley was a little girl, she used to be so afraid when there was a thunderstorm. In fact, she still is. She runs into our room and climbs in bed with us until it's over, don't you? Uh... Oh, she's on national TV. Oh. <laughs> yes, Ash, the entire nation is sharing this magic moment with you. Now, right now, let's get on to our final surprise guest. Ashley, listen carefully. This next voice should give you goosebumps. Hi, um... Ashley? I don't think I know who it is. That's probably because you've never actually talked to him, Ashley, but you have drooled over him since your freshman year! <laughs> yes, Ashley, since that time you've followed him around, you've watched him play football, watched him work out, you even transferred into his Spanish class just to hear him say, Hola, senora, over and over again, didn't you, Ash? <laughs> May I? Yeah. <laughs> Ashley, he's Greendale High's star quarterback and your secret crush. <laughs> Here is Glenn Taylor! <laughs> yes, Glenn. Thank you for joining us, Glenn. Now, Glenn, we thought you'd like to hear how Ashley truly feels about you. She writes in her personal diary. Every day, I watch him comb his hair at his locker. Mom, tell him to stop! Ashley, shh, please, honey. <laughs> he doesn't even know I exist, and probably never will. Well, that's not the case anymore, is it, Ashley? <laughs> Ashley, do you have anything you'd like to say to Glenn? <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> Look how excited she is. <laughs> Glenn, do you have anything you'd like to say to Ashley? Uh, well, well, yeah. Um, hi. Uh, I've seen you around the halls of school, but uh, well, I've been a little embarrassed to come up and talk to you because it would seem like someone as pretty as you might already have a boyfriend. But um, I don't know. I was just thinking maybe we could go to the movie sometime. 
Me? <laughs> Whoa! Well, isn't this wonderful, folks? It's embarrassing moments like this that make this show all worthwhile. <laughs> yes, Ashley, I hope you've had a good time. I know we have. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining us on This Is Your Teen and Life. Hey, Tate, do you know what a luge racer is? No, but I bet I'm gonna find out. Right. Luge racing is speeding down an icy track on a small sled racing against the clock. It's a very cool sport. That must be why we <laughs> sent 12-year-old Scott Sylvester to visit the National Sports Academy in Lake Placid, New York. Scott not only learned about luge racing, but also checked out speed skating and ski jumping. Let's take a look. The best of New York, nothing would be more cool than to go to school at the academy and train in the luge. Well, I like to go to National Sports Academy because, um, you know, I really want to be dedicated to my sport, my sport, and, um, still be, you know, really into my schoolwork, you know. I want to, I want to be able to get into a good college someday, you know. Scott saw the discipline it takes to be a student here, with three Olympic hopefuls, including Chris, a speed skater. This is Tristan. Chris. Scott. Jumper. Eric, he's a loser. Eric. After meeting the guys, Scott found out the day begins bright and early at 6 a.m. for breakfast. By 7, the day's training is in full swing. Along with training for their individual events six days a week, these athletes are honor students. They must carry a full course load, including college prep classes. Today, I want you to continue working on your essays. It's amazing to me how they uh, can work all day and train and then have to come back and go to school. It takes a lot of dedication to do that. You can't just say, oh, I'll blow off my schoolwork and do it tomorrow, you know, because they can't be the best they can be if they're not committed. Chris spends his time at the Sports Academy Dice Rink. This guy skates for speed. I like speed skating because you get going really fast around the, around the big oval, and it's really great. You got to, you know, do a lot of training and stuff, and that's what will that's help me get to the best. Man, that was totally awesome. So where are we headed next, man? Well, looks like we're going to the ski jumps. Ski jumping! Yeah, this is a ski jump. Whoa, man, those are huge. Christian Handler has devoted the last five years to the ski jump. He flies into the air at 55 miles per hour and travels the length of a football field. Man, I can't believe you actually got to come up with this thing, man. It's really scary just being up this high. Yeah, first time it's real scary, but then every time you get more and more used to it. Have you ever been hurt? Uh, no, I've fallen once on this jump, and, oh. but I wasn't hurt. You guys are nuts, man. I, I can't believe you guys do this. I just get scared standing up here. Oh, that was yeah. sweet, yeah. man. I love Nailed that, that one, guys. Track, man. All right. Oh, that was sweet, good. man. Good. That was wicked. Hey, what do you say we go to the loose? Oh, yeah, guys, right. come on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, come on. They're excited yeah. to get you on the play. Oh, man. Luge is a really fun sport. You know, I could take go out there every day and just go fast. When you're sliding, you can't really even sense the speed. You can really feel it in the curves. You can really feel G-forces and that stuff, which is a result of speed. It looks fun. All right, Scott, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'll give you a quick lesson in luge then, all right? Yep. Lay down on the sled, put your feet up, put your head way back. All right, just get comfortable. After a full day of learning what it takes to be a dedicated athlete, Scott got his chance to conquer the luge. It's really not all that easy as I thought it'd be. I thought, you know, they'd just sit there and go zooming down and just be a matter of relaxing. And it's not. It, it takes a lot of concentration. And it was great until I started bumping into the walls. And you can't, you got to keep your mind straight and you just got to, you got to go with the flow. <laughs> All right, Scott. For Scott, a day at the National Sports Academy was a lot of fun. For the future Olympians who study and train here, it's a serious commitment. And that's the first step to become a world-class athlete. This day has meant a lot to me because I saw a lot of kids, you know, just like me, just regular kids, just uh, really have to work really, really hard and give 100%, you know. And it just goes to show, you know, you can't, you can't slack off. You have to give 100% to do all you can do. Christina, that is
there's one school where I'd actually enjoy doing homework. <laughs> if there's something you'd like to be or see, write to us at Would I Want to Be or See Mickey Mouse Club. Disney MGM Studios, P.O. Box 10200 Lake Buena Vista, Florida, 32830. Be sure to include your name, address, and telephone number. Hey, I got some mouse mail here from Erin Lill from Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. And what she wants Wait, to know... who's that from? Um, Erin Lill from Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. Oh, I am from Jesse Lill from Detroit Lakes, oh, Minnesota. Cool beans, maybe it's a sister. Oh, no. Somebody say Jesse Lill from Detroit Lakes, Minnesota? Yeah, yeah. I got one, too. <laughs> hey, I got one from Erin Lill. Erin Lill. Um, Jesse Lil. Looks <laughs> 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 like these two ambitious sisters wrote to each and every one of us. And what they want to know is... What's your favorite color? Well, Jesse and Aaron, here's your answer. Red. Purple. Green. Blue. Actually, more of an indigo. White. Pink. Hot, Hot pink. pink. Black. Thanks for writing, Jesse and Aaron. I hope that answered your question. We'll be sending you both a Mickey Mouse Club t-shirt. And if you'd like to write to us, send your letters to Mouse Mail. Mickey Mouse Club, Disney MGM Studios, P.O. Box 10200, Lake Buena Vista, Florida, 32830. Today's musical guest is a hot group with several hit songs on the charts. Here they are to sing, That's What Love Can Do, Boy Crazy! Boy! Seriously. Who's who? Please introduce yourself. I'm Kimberly. I'm Ruthann. I'm Jocelyn. And I'm Jonna. Jonna. All right. Um, now, is it true that uh, four of you met while competing for different acting and singing roles? 
That is true. We were all in New York and we were auditioning for different projects like TV shows and Broadway shows and commercials. And uh, we had the same manager and we expressed an interest in putting together a girl group. And so she helped us. And here we are. Cool. cool. Now, being from different backgrounds and different interests and stuff, do you guys like the same things? Do you hang when you're not working? Yeah. We like some of the same things. We're four very different people, mm -hmm. yeah. but we work... <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> <laughs> we work together all the time, so we might get one day off a week we'll at the most. We'll be together at that time. But yeah. um, we're together all the time. Cool. That's cool. So now you guys have had the chance to travel all around, I'm sure. Uh, what's your favorite city that you've had? We just got back from Japan, so I think yeah. that might be uh, our favorite. Yeah. Tokyo. Is That's Tokyo. been our favorite. That's cool. So you guys are going to kick another song for us, right? Yeah. Absolutely. All right. All right. They're going to sing Coming In on a Wing and a Prayer. Let's hear yeah. for Boy Crazy. Boy Crazy.
The Mickey Mouse Club is videotaped before a live audience at the Disney MGM Studios in Lake Buena Vista, Florida. Hey, welcome back to MMC This. There's a lot of stuff going on this season, and we've got the inside word for you right here. But first, can you name the top three reasons to watch tomorrow's episode of the MMC? All right, number three, great comedy. Number two, cool music. And the number one reason to watch MMC tomorrow, watch this. Tomorrow on the MMC Hall of Fame, meet some kids from L.A. who decided to unite instead of fight. And check out Mickey's hometown in Georgia. I tell you what, let's go find some gators. Plus, hot music from Nita and the new MMC album. I'm ocean Tomorrow on an all-new Mickey Mouse Club.